Rockers, I'm Chloe Cooper here at Werblin Rec Center celebrating the end of National Engineers Week with the popular cardboard canoe races. Let's go check it out. How many people come out to this event each year? So we've been doing this event for about five years now and each year we've progressively gotten more and more people involved and this year we have 22 teams participating. I supported the Cobra Canoe Races because it's a big event of E-Week and I really want to do some volunteer for the E-Week part of the School of Engineering. Do you think it would be fun to build and race your own canoe? Yes, it is. I watched a video on YouTube and people are like racing, I sit down and trying to, to save their canoes. It is very strange to be doing all of this but as an engineer I just love to pick like the randomness of things and see if they could work together. What we learned in class doesn't really pertain to cardboards and the material and structural integrity of cardboards so that's what makes this competition so exciting. What made you want to be a judge for this event? I've been looking for opportunities to engage with the school, come back as an alumni, I graduated in class of 02 and I want to give back to a curriculum that's given me a heck of a lot. Do you have any advice for canoe builders? All right, so I think, I think a good canoe, first and foremost, has to stay afloat. Second, it's got to get you there in style. Third, if you're not going to get there, I want to see it facilitate a very dramatic, entertaining bailout. Do you have to be an engineering major to participate in any of the events during National Engineers Week? Absolutely not. Engineers Week, National Engineers Week is all about sharing our pride and passion with the public. Whether you're a third grader, a middle school, high school student, it doesn't matter what age you are. We just want to share our love and passion with the entire community. Can you believe how much fun that was? Until next time, keep painting the town scarlet. I'm Chloe Cooper, RUTV.